Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be working on this gravel driveway here. I'm going to be using this John Deere 2032R with a land plane. Um, there's some different tools that are kind of like this. They all have a bunch of different names, but uh, I believe this one in particular is called a land plane. So what's going on here is it's got these two angled teeth right here. This is just a big blade that goes down and kind of like scrapes up the top layer of gravel. And there's also these four teeth on the front that you can set to different heights. So right now I have it set so they're just barely touching. Um, if you want them to not touch at all, you take them up and you flip them upside down. Or you take them out completely. But for what I'm going to be doing today, I'm probably going to drop it down to this setting. Because these potholes are so deep that I want to dig out. So if I just run the land plane over this, it will kind of skip over the pothole. So that's why I'm going to be using the teeth to do this. Uh, if the driveway wasn't this bad, I could probably just scrape it with just the plane itself. But in order to get down to the bottom of these, we have to use the teeth, dig this all up. Basically what this does is it loosens all the material up and then I'll lay it back down nice and flat again. So to start out, I'm going to do just this little section here first, just so you can see it in action. And then I'll move on to the rest of the driveway.
All right, so as you can see, that pothole is gone. I dug it all the way out. I went by a couple times this direction, a couple times this direction, and then I used the blade and I pushed it backwards and it ends up leaving like about an inch layer. And that's because the frame sits up about an inch higher than the blade in the bottom. Now, the reason why that works is the blade that I'm digging with sits down lower than the back frame that holds the ping all together. So when I push backwards, it actually lets through about an inch or two of material and then the blade smooths it down nice and perfect. So what it ends up doing is it leaves a little pile here and all underneath here and it just creates a perfectly flat smooth surface. And then I smoothed it out with the bucket as well. Now see where the bigger rocks get pulled up? They, these create kind of an issue because they tend to drag. So what I will do is I'll go through and I'll pull the bigger rocks out by hand and get rid of those and then go back over this whole thing again with the smooth bucket and just smooth it down. So I mean look at the difference between the two sides. This used to look just like that with this potholes all running down here and now they're all gone. And then once you drive on it a bunch it'll pack it down real good and it rains on it, it'll really lock everything in really nicely here and the potholes shouldn't come back because basically we dug them out and re relayed this whole section versus if you were to just fill this with gravel it would just blow back out again.
right, so as you can see, all the potholes and all those little divots from the plow, they're all gone. And this is looking way better. Didn't take much time. Again, this is what it looked like before. Big potholes, very rough. And now it looks like a brand new driveway. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the worst part first where all the potholes are. I still got to do all the way up to the road and all the way up the hill. So this is going to take me a few hours probably. But uh, if you got anything out of this video, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more stuff like this. I don't always do tractor stuff, but you never know. There might be more of this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.